Day one of building a Fast and Furious Kia Forte that'd make Brian O'Connor proud. Let's do it. Today we're installing an electric turbo blow-off valve. First we had to decide on a mounting location, so at car shows this thing pops. We have to run this red wire to something called a positive terminal and the black one to something called a negative terminal. So I ran the wires straight to the battery terminals because it seemed to make sense. At this point, I could literally feel the street cred pulsing Check through my thing. veins. Hit this switch. Yeah. Too fast, too furious. More than you can afford, pal. They gave us these brackets. They gave me those brackets, but I was like, what the hell? And just threw a zip tie on it. Cleaning up that zip tie really completed the build for me. I felt like seeing the wires on the outside would let people know this thing's a force to be reckoned with. Day two, we're installing illegal underglow on the Fast and Furious Kia. I untangled them and then hucked them all into place. Before installing them, it was definitely important to clean the surface area so that they stick nicely. The grime that came off this thing was honestly disrespectful. This car was honestly made for underglow. That spot just seemed perfect. Look at that fitment. I went around the car and massaged all the underglow into place like it was my Aunt Teresa asking for a back rub at a family get together. I was worried about how to clean these wires up. I decided to just tape okay, so them. Okay, we literally got a sick clean build going here. My street cred's leveled up to about 250 now, without a doubt. We're running a small city off this 12 volt at this point. Definitely a fire hazard. Day three of installing the most cringe car mods I can find, so you don't have to, let's do it. We started off the mods with these flames that go on the wing mirrors, little spit shine to clean the surface area, and then we just slapped those puppies on. Look at that. Almost took a sippy of this Windex because it looked so tasty. Dropped an elbow of God on it too. We are giving these instructions on how to get air bubbles out, but I was like, nah, get the hell out of here. I'm the driver, I don't take instructions, I am the instructions. These claw marks really give us an aggressive look when we pull up to the car meets. And for the pièce de résistance, we got these racing stripes. Are you kidding me? I pulled the card back out because I actually did want to get some air bubbles out. We ring that on real quick. Street cred's at about 290 now. I'm Paul Walker's son, and this is day four of building a Fast and Furious Kia. Today we got grenade valve stem caps. The build quality was actually way better than I was expecting. I didn't even realize we were missing caps, so this works better than I even realized in the first place. If you put how cringe these are aside, they're actually pretty sick. My cowboy hat came in handy and kept me calm. I did a little salute. Again, missing a valve stem. This thing literally only had one. I can only imagine what the mechanics at Kia would think when I pull this thing in for service. Subscribe, don't miss the build. Day five of building a fast and furious Kia Forte. Today we're running some interior mods. Let's run it. This one's for Dominic Toretto. I know that charger has some dice up on that window, so you know we were running it. Thank you, thank you. I knew you guys would like this one. There's no sh box with a hundred mods on it that do nothing that's complete without some dice hanging we moved on to some interior ambiance something to light the space up give it some atmosphere are you ready for this yeah check this asmr no joke these things were 650 bucks and worth every penny honestly i used to get all confused where my drink was going whoa, whoa whoa but now i know exactly where it is subscribe god damn it Today I'm gonna to commit the ultimate sin of car modifications. Now I have that part in my back pocket. Maybe the worst modification someone can do to their car. We got a sport badge going on a non-sport vehicle. Okay, so first things first, we gotta prep the area. Let's slap it on. Perform the ultimate sin of modifying cars. Comment below if you think this is worse than putting an M badge on a non-M BMW. My seatbelt in my car is literally always trying to end me and kills my shoulder every time I put it on. So for day seven, we got some seatbelt cushions. Not only functional, but essential for the Fast and Furious Kia. Now my seatbelt's not trying to end me and looks pretty sick, doesn't it, Dom? I live my life a quarter mile at a time. If you ain't talking family, I ain't talking to ya. What's up guys, good morning. It's uh, day eight of the Kia Fast and Furious build and it's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Just installing some parts before work here today. For day eight, we got some door sill trim. Guys, this is the end of stage one for the Kia build. I've run out of parts and I run out of money. Comment below if you've been around since day one of the build. I'd love to see who's been watching. So, just cause it's the end of 
stage one of the Kia build does not mean it's the end of the channel. We're gonna be doing skits, moving on to other cars, and be doing tons of cool stuff. Carbon Fibre. Come on. Well, for stage one of the Kia build, that wraps things up and wraps things up for this video. Thanks for spending some of your morning with me, guys. I gotta head to work. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay driving, drivers.